In this video, we're going to look at how to create a content page from a master page using SharePoint Designer. Now, the first step of that, of course, is opening the site that you want to do this in, inside of SharePoint Designer. And once we've got that done, we need to go into the master page catalog. So we'll expand the catalogs directory and expand the master page. Now, in this case, we're going to go ahead and create default content from here, from our default.master. We right-click on that and click on New Page, New from Master Page. Now, we want to do this basically because it allows us to easily create a new page that has the same look and feel as everything else on the site. However, by default, you can't really edit anything that's on here because all of the placeholders are locked to the master page. Now, as you can see, this gives you a blank ASPX page that then you can use to customize however you'd like. In, in most cases, you're going to want to customize placeholder main. Now, you need to click on the common task flyout and tell it that you want to create custom content. Now, once you've done that, you can actually customize the content inside of placeholder main, and you can add web part zones, data view web parts, really whatever you'd like. You can actually just create it then and, and use it to simply add in HTML and create it as a informational page if you'd like. In our case, I think we're just going to go ahead and click on Insert, go to SharePoint Controls, we're going to add a web part zone here. And you can see it's put in a web part zone called Zone 1 for us. Once the web part zone has been added, we can easily go into the task panes and go down to the web parts task pane. We could add web parts at this point. The other thing that we can do here is actually allow our users to add web parts using SharePoint's browser UI. Now let's go ahead and customize one other placeholder very quickly. See it's the site name. We're going to create custom content. We're just going to change that to custom. Now you can see that the placeholder site name, which is what we've customized, is now showing as custom. We'll go to the common content tasks, and you'll see that one of the options is actually to default back to the master's content. So that's just going to warn us that everything is going to be removed, and it's just important to know that if you do customize something, it's possible to very easily get back to the default content for that placeholder. Now we're going to go ahead and save our changes. Going to change this to be custom.aspx and save it. Now we're going to go into the folders list. Scroll down here. See custom.aspx shows up in our folder list now. now. As you look across the top here, you can actually tell which master page is being applied to this particular ASPX page. And that's how you'll know whether or not you're using your default.master versus another custom master page that might be on your website. Not only can you create custom content pages from a master page, you can also take and right-click on an ASPX page that has been created, and you can actually create a new page based on the existing page. Now, as we go ahead and click on that, the benefit here is that it will automatically import in all of the customizations that you've done previously on that original page. So as you can see, the web part zone shows up here as zone 1, and you can see that the placeholder main is customized. So not only is it possible to use a custom master page in order to drive uniform site structure, you can also create customized pages based on those master pages, which you can then use over and over again with SharePoint Designer, creating them based on that custom ASPX.